Hi, welcome to our first lockdown class. So, I say this before every class that I do. The most important thing that you'll do during your practice today is breathe. So, if you find that you, you feel tense, it normally means that your breath has gone into little, tiny, short breaths. So, as much as you can think, and try and keep this nice, steady, flow to your breath and by rights your practice should be or something similar it should have a more of a, a gentle flow <clears throat> and also if you're feeling tension it probably means that you're trying a bit too hard you're, you're pushing a bit too deep so come out of it a little bit always think about what's the right alignment of you know where am i and then you know how deep can you go into it get that alignment first and from there just relax into it connect with your breath so if you find that you are struggling at any point during the practice, you can sort of drop your knees to the floor during prank, uh, plank position. You can have a rest at any time. This is basically going to be available for anybody at any time, you know, once it's posted. So you can come back to it again and again and again, and you can sort of do the practice over and over again. So don't sort of judge yourself on whether or not you can or can't get through it. Generally, if you you know if you're uh, new to yoga, everything is going to be a struggle because it's new, and that's just how the brain works. It needs to create the connections, get familiar. So, but like I say, I, who knows what's going to happen because I never do. So let's see where we end up in about an hour's time. And um, so, coming to the front of your mat, bring your feet together, lift your toes, spread your toes out nice and wide. Take a little squeeze of the mat with your toes and then stand up nice and tall. Relax your shoulders down the back. Give the shoulders a little roll out, maybe shake the arms. The tummy's relaxed, shoulders are relaxed down the back. Closing the eyes and just normal breathing. So just abdominal breathing into the belly. Maybe make a few adjustments with your feet just so you feel that rooted and planted into the ground. Take a big inhale, fill yourself all the way up, fill the belly up, fill the chest up. And on the exhale, a big sigh. Just let the shoulders relax down the back. You can give them a little shake out again if you want. Inhale fully. Let any tension leave the body. Leave the mind. And just return to gentle abdominal breathing. Bring your focus down to the soles of your feet. So you don't want to feel like you're leaning forward or rocking back or in or out. Just get that lovely, secure, planted feeling through the whole of the foot, the tip of every toe. From there, we're going to lift energy in an upward direction. So we have gravity pushing through the soles of the feet. So by lifting the kneecaps, lifting the thigh muscles, this automatically lifts the pelvic floor, so lift the pelvic floor. If you lift the pelvic floor, you feel your tummy wants to come in to so gently draw the tummy in. Now the breath is open into the chest here. So inhaling and exhaling, in and out through the nose, into the chest. Nice, big, deep breaths. Inhale, open your eyes, make a big circle with the arms, salute the sun, reach up, and then exhale, soften the knees, fall forward, lay your chest onto your thighs, let your head hang, and let your arms hang, shake your head out, yes and no, let the crown of the head hang down towards the floor, keep the belly button drawn in so the breath stays into the back, and keep them nice big breaths in and out through the nose. Next inhale, slowly roll up through the spine. As the head rises, open the arms, reach up through the fingers, salute the sun, and exhale, hands back to the heart space. So again, inhale, reach up, salute the sun, reach through the fingertips. Exhale, soften the knees a little bit this time. 
and just let the top half of the body completely relax. So the knees are slightly bent, top half of the body relaxed, tummy is in, nice big deep breaths. So you might start to feel the hamstrings here and into the glutes, so be nice and gentle. Just let the head hang, let the arms hang, take nice deep breaths. Inhale, roll up through the spine, open the arms wide, reach up, salute the sun, and exhale the hands to the heart space. Inhale, reach up, salute the sun. Exhale, swallow dive forward, this time with straight legs. Tummy is in, so once the legs want to bend, you just let the top half of the body relax from there. But if you can, keeping the legs straight, tummy in. Just let the top half of the body relax down towards the floor, shake the arms out. But be gentle, the idea, you know, it's not necessarily I want to get to the floor, that's just where I am in my practice. You might be here, you know, and if here is where your legs are straight, that's where we want to be, because then we're starting to open up the hamstrings, lengthen the hamstrings. This is shortening the hamstrings, this lengthening the hamstrings. So we want that nice length, to release any aches and pains that we may have in the lower back. But shake the head out, yes and no. Inhale, lift the head, look up, bend the knees, bring the hands down to the floor and sit down into an invisible chair. Open the palms to face the front of the room and then inhale, raise the arms and look up between the hands. So lift up a little, tuck your tailbone under, tummy in, sit down and then reach from the middle of the back and the middle of the chest Look up between the hands, nice big strong breaths. If you want, you can bring the hands into fire hands like this. And again, reach. So big breaths, you're working hard even though you're still. So big breaths. If you want, you can bring your chin level with the floor. Try and bring your biceps alongside your ears. And inhale, reach. And then lift the head, look up. And then reach again. Strong breath, tummy in. Open the arms, straighten the legs, exhale. Just let the whole top half of the body relax. Shake the head out. Inhale, roll up through the spine, open the arms, salute the sun. Reach up through the fingers. Exhale, hands to the heart space. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, swallow dive forward, tummy in. Inhale, bend the knees, reach up into your chair pose again. Look up between the hands, tuck the tailbone under, sit down. Big inhale, on the exhale, bring your right forearm across your thighs, your left hand down to the floor. And then inhale, roll the left shoulder open and we'll reach up through the left hand. Sit down into that chair, tummy in. Think the shoulders rolling down from the neck, head is moving up and away from the shoulders. Big breaths. Well done. Inhale back to your chair pose. Exhale, left forearm across the thigh, right hand down. Inhale, roll the left shoulder, uh, right shoulder open, reach up, sit down into that chair, roll that shoulder down the back and reach up. Nice big breaths. Inhale, chair pose. Exhale, straighten the legs. Fall forward, tummy in. Relax over the legs. Inhale, lift to a flat back, tummy in. Shoulders back. Exhale. Just let yourself relax. Shake the head out, yes and no. Inhale, roll up through the spine, open the arms wide, salute the sun, reach up. Exhale, bring the hands to the heart space. Inhale, reach up, salute the sun. Exhale, swallow dive forward, tummy in. Bend the knees, bring the hands to the floor, step back into your press up plank position. Lock your shoulder blades down your back, push into the palms. Hold this here, lift the thighs. Lift the pelvic floor, tummy in, 
you need to, you can drop your knees to the floor. But if you can, try and hold that plank for a strong breath. Drop the knees to the floor. Bend the elbows, bring the forearms down to the floor. And then try and lower the chest in tune between the hands and look along the floor. Lift the chin, inhale through and onto the tummy. So the elbows are in, shoulder blades are back. So just using the back muscles, take an inhale into the tummy. Exhale, inhale into the tummy. Use the back muscles, lift the head and the heart, and see if you can lift the head. Shoulders are back, breathe into the belly. Bring the hands to the floor. Inhale, just assist yourself up into cobra. Lift the head, look up. Exhale, come down to the tummy, turn the toes under. Push all the way back. Straighten the legs, downward facing dog. Walk the heels up and down. Shake the head out, yes and no. Tummy is in. Okay, straighten the arms, push into the thumb side of the hand as well as the little finger. Push both heels down to the floor, push your chest back towards your thighs and try and turn your tailbone up to the sky. Inhale, lift the head, exhale. Step, walk or jump your feet forward to the front of your mat. Lift up to a flat back, tummy in. And exhale, forward bend. Inhale, come all the way up, salute the sun. And exhale, the hands to the heart switch. Inhale. Exhale, forward dive forward, tummy in. Inhale, plank. Hold the plank, lift the thighs, tummy in, strong breath. Drop the knees to the floor. Move the sit bones back towards the heels and then slide the hands forward until you can bring your chest and chin down to the floor for puppy dog pose. This can be really tight in the shoulders, so nice and gentle. It might be easy to put a block underneath your chest or a cushion. Push into the forearms, come onto the tummy. So, elbows are underneath the shoulders, shoulders are drawn back, push into the palms, lift up for your sphinx pose. Shoulders are down the back, chest is lifted, push into the forearms. You can deepen this a little bit, you can keep your hips on the floor, you can try straightening the arms. So don't let the shoulders creep up like this, keep the shoulders pulled down the back, head is lifted, look up, deep breaths. Exhale, come down onto your tummy, hands are underneath the shoulders, toes under, push all the way back and into your downward facing dog. Walk the heels up and down, shake the head out, yes and no. And then swivel the feet around to the left, bring the right heel round to the left big toe and push into the Exhale to the opposite side, push in deep. Feel that stretch right down the side, body on the left hand side. Inhale to the centre, exhale, push down into your downward facing dog. 
inhale as the head exhale step walk then jump your feet forward lift to a flat back inhale exhale forward bend just let yourself relax a little bit shake the head out coming in inhale mold through the spine open the arms reach up salute the sun exhale bring the hands to the heart straight close the eyes and just take two or three nice big deep breaths with the eyes closed and just check in with how you feel right now sensations in the body your breath your heartbeat Jump, salute the sun. Exhale, swallow dive forward. Coming in. in my heart. And inhale back to your plank position. Push into the palms, draw the shoulder blades down the back. Tummy is in, strong breath. Drop your knees to the floor. And then step your left foot back and turn your left foot square to the back of the mat. And inhale, roll. Open the left shoulder up and reach up through the left hand. You can try lifting that left leg up off the floor and you can try turning the left arm and reaching over the head. Keep the core engaged, nice big deep breaths. Inhale, raise the arm, exhale. Come back to all fours. When you're ready, step in the right foot back, turn the right toes, roll the right shoulder open, reach up, look up. If you can, see if you can raise the right leg. And maybe you can turn that right palm, face the front and reach over the head. Big breaths. Inhale, raise the arm. Exhale, come back to all fours. Stepping into your down dog. Walk your heels up and down. Shake your head out, yes and no. Inhale, up onto the tippy toes. Exhale, bend the knees and push the chest all the way back to the thighs. And then try pushing the heels down to the floor and just deepen that down dog. Push into the palms, straight arms. Inhale, lift the head, exhale, step, walk, or jump your feet forward. Lift up to a flat back, inhale. Ah, exhale. Just let yourself completely relax. Maybe take a hold of the opposite elbow with the opposite hand. Let yourself hang over the legs. Soften the knees, inhale, roll up through the spine. Salute the sun. And exhale, hands to the heart space. Close your eyes, take a breath. Inhale, salute the sun. Exhale, step your left foot back and bring your feet to 10 to 2. So facing the outside corners of your mat, hands with the heart space. So you want to think head on top of the shoulders, shoulders on top of the hips. What I mean by that is, is if you're leaning forward like this, see how your shoulders and hips and head on in the line. So think this alignment here, lift the pelvic floor, tummy is in, hands are at the heart space. Inhale, salute the sun. And then exhale as you bring the hands down to the heart space, sit down into your goddess pose. So shoulders relax down the back, pelvic floor is lifted and my tummy is in pushing down through the feet, and I really want to focus on my breath. So I can close the eyes, 
Big deep breaths here. On an inhale, come up onto your right tippy toe. And then drop the right and lift the left. And then drop the left and then see if you can come up onto your tiptoes. Drop the heels, straighten the legs, turn the feet to the side of the mat, inhale, salute the sun, exhale, swallow dive forward, tummy in, and bring the hands to the floor in between the feet. So you might want to adjust your feet a bit wider, a bit closer together, but think straight legs, tummy is in, lift the chest, inhale, and then exhale, just fold them from the waist, try and keep the legs straight. Let the top half of the body just relax down towards the floor. So again, like the forward bend, if you think and get me head to the floor and you need to bend your knees like this to do it, keep the legs straight and just relax here if that's where your legs are at their maximum length. If you can, you can relax the crown of the head down. lift up to a flat back so you're going to bring your right hand underneath your chest bend your right knee and on an inhale roll the left shoulder open reach up for the ceiling and then if you can see if you can straighten that right leg so it's a big stretch opening with the twist long big deep breaths If you want, you can reach around for the right thigh for a bind, but keep rolling that left shoulder open. And then release, raise your arm, bring the hand back down to the floor. Lift to a flat back, inhale. Ah, exhale, just relax. Let the head hang, shake the head out, yes and no. Lift it up to a flat back, bring the left hand underneath the chest, bend the left knee, and on an inhale, roll the right shoulder up, reach up, and if you can, straighten the left leg. Turn the palms face the back, and if you want, you can reach around for the left thigh. Keep rolling that right shoulder up. Release the bind, bring the arm back up, and then bring the hand to the floor. Lift to a flat back, inhale. <sighs> Exhale, just let yourself hang over the leg. Inhale, lift up to a flat back, bend the knees, bring the hands to the waist. On an inhale, come all the way up and exhale. Stack the feet together, hands with the heart space. Big inhale. <sighs> Inhale, salute the sun, reach up, and exhale, step the right foot back this time, and turn to face the sides of the mat. So again, you're on your feet, a good hip distance apart, bring the hands to the heart space. So the right foot, we're just going to turn out to the side so it's facing straight forward like this. This back foot stays facing forward, and then... We're going to try and align our hips and our the chest with this outside this edge of the mat here. So think square the chest. Now, if you're tight in this hip, it might feel like it's making your knee roll in. But just work with that alignment there. And then raise the arms up to shoulder height. 
Roll the palms all the way open so the shoulder blades sink down the back and then flip the palms over, reach through the fingertips. So tummy is in, take an inhale. And exhale, the only thing that moves is that right knee. I just want to bend that right knee and come forward into my warrior position. I turn the head, look to the middle finger on the right hand and nice big deep breaths. Exhale, reach as far forward as you can. Turn the front palm on your next inhale, this left hand comes down and the right hand comes up and over the head. So this hand is reaching to the wall as this hand is creeping down towards that left hand, move into that front knee, nice big breaths. Lift the gaze, look up to the top hand. And then inhale, back to your warrior. Bend the front elbow, bring the forearm onto the thigh. Inhale, raise the left arm, reach up. And then turn the palm to face the front and extend the arm over the head. Relax. Lift the gaze, look up to that left hand. Inhale, come all the way back up to your warrior. Straighten the leg, turn your feet square to the sides of the mat and then turn your left toes out to the side. So bring the arms down, check that alignment again. <coughs> and then inhale, raise the arms, sit the shoulders down the back, reach through the fingers. Take an inhale, and exhale just the left knee bit. Sink into that, turn the head, look to the middle finger on the left. as far forward as you can. Turn the front palm, your next inhale, right hand down, left hand up and over the head. And that right hand creep down as you reach over the head with the left hand. Strong breath, lift the gaze, look up. Inhale, back to your warrior. And then bend the front elbow, bring it onto the thigh. Inhale, reach up through the right hand. Turn the top palm to face the front, extend the arm over the head. And then inhale, come back up to your warrior. Straighten the legs, turn the feet to the side. Bring your hands to the heart space. Exhale, step the feet together. At the front of the mat, give your hips a shake. And relax your arms on the other side. Close your eyes, two or three big breaths. Inhale, salute the sun. And exhale, step the left foot back. And turn to face the sides of your mat. So, inhale, bring the hands to the heart space. On your next inhale, inhale, reach up. Exhale, fall forward, tummy in, and bring the hands down to the floor again. So, shoulders are back. You might want to adjust your feet again here, but this goes in stages, so whichever stage is comfortable with you, stick at that. So, the hands are going to stay exactly where they are on the floor. I'm going to keep my head lifted, spine long. Inhale. Exhale, keeping the hands on the floor, I'm going to bend my left knee and bring the left shoulder over and try and touch the inside of my left knee. Look, so this leg stays straight, foot is flat on the floor, hands haven't moved. Inhale to the center, exhale, bend the right knee with the right shoulder over to the inside of the right knee. Now 
to the center, straighten the legs. Exhale, left shoulder to the left knee. And see if you can turn your right toes up to face the ceiling. Inhale back to the center. Exhale, bend the right knee, right shoulder, right knee, and see if you can turn the left toes up to face the ceiling. to the center, exhale to the left, turn the right toes up and then see if you can open your arm, look down to the right toe. Inhale to the center, exhale to the right, see if you can open your arm. Keeping the arms open, see if you can move from one side to the other. We'll do one more on each side. Next one. And then back to the centre, lift to the flat back, inhale. Ah, exhale, forward then. Bend the knees, bring the hands to the waist, inhale, come up. Salute the sun. Exhale, bring the hands to the heart space. Step the feet together at the front of the mat. Give the hips a little shake. A couple of big breaths. And then bring the hands around and into the small of the back. So you kind of want them to support as much of the lower back as you can. Feet a hip distance apart. Draw the shoulder blades together, lift the chest, big inhale, exhale, move the hips forward, squeeze your shoulder blades together, lift the head, look up, inhale, lift the head, exhale, forward bend. Inhale, roll through the spine, salute the sun. And then we'll do the same again. I'll do it from the side this time. So bring the hands into the small of the back, support the front of the lower back. Draw the elbows and shoulder blades together. Lift the chest. Tip the tailbone under, lift the pelvic floor, tummy in, move the hips forward, squeeze the shoulder blades together, inhale. And exhale, let the head hang back. Try and keep the shoulder blades moving together. Chest lifted, big breath. Inhale, lift the head. Exhale, forward bend. Inhale, roll up through the spine. Open the arms, reach up, salute the sun. And exhale the hands to the heart space. Step into the front of your mat. Take an inhale. Ah, on the exhale. So coming to a balance section now. So the secret of balance is where you're looking. Your drishti point is what they call it. So it's your point of focus. So if your head is moving around like this, your body is going to follow it. So think, fix your gaze on something that isn't going to move. Spread as much out on your foot as you can so you've got a big surface on the floor. And then the standing leg, try to take any bend out of it like this because that will make it sort of so, so think. Step into that leg, engage the thigh, make that leg nice and strong. And then that lift another pop, sort of the belly button in just a little bit and that will help support the body. But bring the hands to the heart space, shift the weight over into the left foot and come up onto your right toes. On an inhale, raise to the right knee. And then bring the hands over the knee and see if you can lift that knee up and in towards the chest. So 
then we're going to take that leg into uh, tree pose. So if your balance is really sketchy today, take the foot onto the ankle so you've got that little dab or bring it onto the calf like this or if you want above the calf on the thigh like this what you don't want is on the knee like that you can also do it in like a, a half lotus like this but that's quite intense on the knee but once you're there engage that standing leg lift the pelvic floor tummy in and think this knee is opening out to the side and the hands of the heart stuff pelvic floor lifted tummy in nice big breaths Open the arms wide, palms are down, and bring the knee back into the centre and exhale, see if you can fold all the way through and into an aeroplane pose. Lift the back heel, let the chest come forward, open the arms, nice big breaths, fix your gaze. Set the feet together. Good move, okay. Take the weight into the right foot, spread the toes, lift the thigh, engage the thigh, hands at the heart space. Inhale, raise the knee. Bring the hands over the knee and lift the knee into the chest. And then bringing it into your tree. So again, you can have it on the ankle like this, so you can touch on the calf like this, or if you want it onto the thigh. But once it's there, I mean, really push the foot into the leg and the leg into the foot open. The hip tailbone's down, pelvic floor's lifted, tummy's in. And then open the arm wide, bring the knee back into the centre and see if you can fold all the way through and into your aeroplane. Together, step the feet together, shake the standing leg out. Take a big inhale, close your eyes. So, coming to the length of your mat, you want to bring your right foot into the middle of the mat. You're going to lean forward and bring your left hand forward. So the closer it is to your foot, the harder it is. So think forward. And if you've got a yoga block and a cushion, you can put your hand up and onto the cushion. But right hand is onto the right hip. I'm looking at this here on my mat. So I'm going to inhale and step in and then lift this right leg high. I'm going to roll the right shoulder and the right hip open. And then see if I can reach up through that right hip. Now, if you're feeling confident, you might be able to turn your head and look up to that right hand. And then bring your feet together. Lift to a flat back. Inhale. Ah, exhale. Fall again. Shake your head out. Yes and no. And then step your left foot back, your right foot forward, bend that right knee. Left hand is onto the left hip. As you come forward, bring that right hand forward, step into the front leg, roll the left shoulder and the left hip open, and reach up through the left hand if you can. Deep you can 
can try and look up to that left hand. Feet together, lift to a flat back, ah, and exhale, fall up in. Inhale, roll up through the spine, salute the sun, and exhale, land to the heart foot. Step into the front of your mat, inhale, salute the sun, exhale, swallow dark ball and tummy in. Inhale, lift to a flat back, step back into your pressure plank position, and then drop your knees down to the floor. Okay, so, push into the left hand. Inhale, raise the right hand out to the side, and exhale, thread the right hand through, lay the shoulder down, lay the head down, and then push into that left hand and roll that left shoulder up. And push into the hand on the floor, and you can bring that left hand round the back to bind. Don't let the shoulder collapse. Keep that open, rolled open, tummy in, nice breath. Raise the bind. Bring the arm over, lift the head. Come on to all fours. And then your cat cow, so shoulders are back. Take an inhale, lift the chest, stick the tailbone up, sink into the lower back, look up through the third eye so you open all the front of the spine, close all the back, and as you exhale, draw the tummy in, turn the tailbone under, push into the palms, and spread the back, close all the front of the spine, open all the back. Inhale, open. Inhale to a flat back, raise the left arm, exhale, thread the left arm all the way through, lay the head down, lay the shoulder down, push into that right hand, roll the chest open, draw that shoulder down and away from the ear, and if you can, you can bring the hand around the back, bind. Crossing the feet and coming to seated, bring the feet forward and lift any muscles up and away from your sit bones, legs are together, lift the chest, draw the shoulders down the back, left hand onto the lap, right hand on top, thumbs touch. You can close your eyes and focus on your third eye, you can look to the tip of your nose, or you can look through your eyebrows towards your toes. May the fool you really is the breath, the long spine. Open the eyes, open the palms to face the ceiling. Inhale, reach up. On then exhale, keep reaching forward, tummy in, and reach for the shins, the ankles if you can, the sides of the feet. Lift up to a flat back, tummy in, and on the exhale, think your head is moving towards your toes. And then let the head come down. Inhale, roll through the spine, bring the hands around the back, underneath the shoulders, and on your next inhale, roll the big toes down towards the floor, push into the hands, lift the head, look up, lift the hips. And then exhale, lower the hips, and then bend 
the left knee and bring the left foot to the inside of the right thigh. And again, lift any muscles away from your sit bones. Open the palms, inhale, reach up, look up. Exhale, forward, forward, reaching for that front foot, the ankle or the shin. Find a little bit of space, draw the shoulders back. And on an exhale, head is moving towards the toes. Inhale, lift the head and bring the feet together into butterfly. Take a hold of the feet. So if your knees are really high, you want to just think about taking a hold of the feet and with your elbows, just gently trying to open their knees a little bit. But if your knees are quite open, if you're quite open in the hips, take a hold of the feet, lift the head. So on an exhale, you're going to move forward, but you want to think your chest is moving towards your toes and to the not your face yet, your head wants to be forward. So inhale, lift the chest, and exhale, One keeping the chest two, lifted, trying to bring the toes towards the chest. Straighten the left leg, bring the right foot to the inside of the left thigh, lift any muscles away from your sit bones, inhale, reach up, look up, and exhale, keep reaching forward, reaching for the shin, the ankle, if you can the foot, lift, expand, exhale, move the head towards the toes. slowly come up, bring the feet together and then bend the knees, bring the feet so they're flat on the floor, bring the hands back underneath the shoulders, fingers are facing forward and on an inhale step into the feet, lift up to your tabletop, lift the head, lay back. And then exhale, come down, hug the knees into the chest. Fill yourself up into a little ball, tummy in, nice big deep breaths into the back. Inhale, lift the head and then bring the hands underneath the knees and see if you can come into your boat pose. <clears throat> so this in your back is not your friend thing. Lift the chest, shoulders back, bring the hands forward. See if you can straighten the legs and reach up towards the toes. Coming back to your boat. Inhale open and exhale close. So once you've done your 50, you can rest. You one, you can rest. The last one, next one, inhale, open. Ah, lay down, close your eyes. Straighten the legs, give the feet a waggle from side to side, breathe into your belly. Bend your knees, draw your heels into your sit bones, bring your hands down alongside the hips so you know that your feet are hip distance apart, hands are flat on the floor, inhale, step into the feet, turn the tailbone under, lift the hips high, bring the hands underneath the body into fire hands, and get a little higher up onto your shoulders, and as you push the hands down, step into the feet, turn the tailbone under, lift the hips high. Hook the knees into the chest and have a little rock from side to side. Reflect the joy and laughter in the sparkle of your eyes. 
Then take your right hand to your left knee, left hand out to the side, and then gently lower the knees to the right and turn the head and look to the edge. Let's go. This top leg might be high, so let the bottom one come down to the floor, and then just the weight of your hand will just help that nice open foot through to it. Walk forwards and backwards. Spiral to and then the bring in the left hand to the right knee, the right hand out to the side, lower the knees to the left, turn the head, look to the edge, flex right hand. And again, if this knee is high, just let the weight of the hand just gently draw it down to the floor. But try and keep the shoulders relaxed. So hook the knees in, a little rock forwards and backwards and then open the knees a bit wider than your torso and take a hold of your feet. So pull down on your feet like you're trying to get your knees to touch the floor on either side of your body for your happy baby. And then roll over till your left knee touches the floor, roll over till your right knee touches the floor. And just roll the then muscles out after them twists and back bends and the work that they've done today. Would you believe Stretching the hips after then hip openers. Life you can rock so forwards and backwards. Just realign the spine. But when you're ready, just coming down to lying down. Let the hands come out to the side. Give the feet a little move. Lift the shoulders, Lift the shoulders, the shoulders to the floor. Maybe push into the shoulders, lift the hips, lay the pelvis down, relax the feet, close the eyes, Floating and allow yourself this shavasana, a little bit of energy in your practice. So we find our limitations in all the other side of practice. And with our breath and our movement fire through, you burn away the limitations, the disbeliefs, the story. So, so easy. Until we have Shavasana or corpse forms where we get to die and in that mean I mean to let all of them things go, the limitations. We get to release them and when we come out of our Shavasana we have a new opportunity, a new chance to be that person you want to be, to behave how you'd like to, to treat people how you'd like to be treated yourself, to do a little bit better today than we did yesterday, and a little bit better tomorrow than we did today. And just allow yourself to sink into the ground find that you're being distracted by mind chatter, just bring your attention to the breath. Follow the breath in, follow the breath out.
slowly starting to bring yourself back. Keeping the eyes closed, start to become aware of your breath. Aware of noises inside and outside of the room. Starting to gently move fingers and toes, reconnecting your mind, body, spirit. On your next inhalation, raise your arms up and over your head. And on the exhalation, have a real early morning stretch. Stretch through your fingers, stretch through your toes. Bring yourself right the way back into the here and now. And then keeping the eyes closed, hug the knees into the chest. Gently roll onto your right hand side. When you're ready, come into a comfortable seated position at the front of your mat. Your shoulders are relaxed down the back, the eyes are closed, tummy is relaxed. Just gentle breath. Nice big inhale, fill yourself all the way up. Ah, big sigh on the exhale. Again, inhale. And one more time, let's remove any last negative energy trapped in the body. Inhale. Bring the hands to a prayer at the third eye and then lower them down to the heart space and tip the chin forward. So use this prana, this life force, this energy that you've gathered during your practice today and manifest it in the outside world as patience and tolerance for the people around you but first and foremost patience and tolerance for yourself. Believe in yourself, have faith in yourself, you are incredible. You are powerful, you are beautiful, you are strong, you are determined, you are all of these things. Just believe in yourself, have faith in yourself. There's nothing that you can't achieve if you truly put your heart and mind behind it. Look after the universe that you live in and the planet that you live on. Take care of all your family and friends. By all your family and friends, I mean all living creatures that live, walk and breathe upon this earth. Inhale the hands to the third eye. Namaste. Thank you very much. I hope you enjoyed that. Please just feel free to do it over and over. But I will be bringing other videos along shortly. So, namaste. Enjoy your lockdown. Enjoy your isolation. And I'll see you in a couple of days.